What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I kind of wanted to do a quick build check, a walk around of how my Cayenne looks right now because it's gonna be going through some changes pretty soon. I've had my build looking like this probably for the past few months or so. Not much has changed, there's like little things that I've added, but for the most part, this is what I'm calling like version one of my build. It's just the more conservative, keeping the OEM body style while you know doing the full lift and everything. And just kind of like the essentials that I personally needed for when I went you know off-roading but yeah i just kind of wanted to walk you guys around the cayenne and uh show you what i have on it just to kind of document it so far so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and subscribe and follow along and let's get right into this build so as you can see the build is pretty stock for the most part to fit these tires these are 275 65 falcon wild peak at at3 w's and then to fit that you do have to do some trimming uh to the pinch weld on the rocker panel and trimming up of the fender liner as well as on the front these are 18 by 8 victor equipment berg uh, plus 20 offset wheels it gives it a nice a nice little poke to it looks good and then i have these baja design squadron sports in amber paired with the Eurowise ditch light brackets i'm running the oem porsche crossbars for the cayenne and then I kind of DIY mounted this Pelican case to it where I keep all my recovery gear and whatnot. Alongside of that is my traction boards that I also DIY mounted. I have a video on that if you guys are interested. Headlights, turn signals, and fog lights are all PPF'd. I did um, tint this in an amber film to match the Baja Designs squadrons. I haven't done any bumper modifications or anything like that obviously the interior there's nothing that i've done to the interior to be honest minus this uh switch for the ditch lights but that's going to be changing soon i want to get a wireless controller for that um this obviously like just for my dog back there that <laughs> i take off but that's not really a mod and then for the suspension like you've probably seen in previous videos i have the Eurowise performance three inch lift kit and then I have Eurowise's tubular upper control arms. They're a little squeaky, um, so you do have to kind of like keep them clean and greased up, but they perform well. These tubular upper control arms, obviously they come with the spherical bushing. I ended up upgrading the shocks to Bilstein B4s. Do like the ride quality. It's uh, at this mileage, I, I bought this, I purchased this car at like 90,000 miles and I wanted to upgrade the suspension anyway, so I might as well do the stretch just so I can get you know the best ride quality i can get and honestly other than that all i have are these weathertech window visors uh super useful in different weather conditions but yeah that's pretty much it for this build uh, i just wanted to do a quick rock walk around there's not much done but for the most part you know it looks a lot better than stock love these tires honestly i really love my setup i've never gotten stuck anywhere i've never been stranded anywhere thankfully um Maintenance is always kept up to date on this car. Obviously, as you know, if you own any type of European vehicle, you do have to maintain it a little bit different than, uh, let's say, comparing to like a JDM vehicle like Toyota or anything like that. But it's not insane. I probably will do a video on like a cost breakdown on whether it's reliability or maintenance. And yeah, stay tuned for that if you wanna see it. It's actually pretty funny because today I'm going to be dropping off my Cayenne to start version version two of the build, which is really exciting. So I kind of wanted to get this out of the way and film and document this really quick. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.